Yo, yo, what's going on, YouTube? Queen Boo Milano, Dear Milan, back with another video. But today, today's video is a little bit different. As y'all can see about the title above, is based on a shoe review. So, with that being said, I'm gonna be reviewing the shoe that I just got today. I just copped. One of the shoes, uh, I will continue to do shoe reviews. Anything fashion, y'all can come to me for DIY. Uh, purchased one-to-one uh, -one pieces, um, purchasing new pieces to go within my, my closet. So I have my own fashion brand. It's not just t-shirts and hoodies, it's a clothing line. So y'all can come to me with anything with fashion reviews, fashion, lifestyle fashion, uh, a day in the life, uh, my trends, what I think was gonna be trending, my predictions, things like that, hustle tips, e-commerce tips, uh, Shopify tips, uh, brand tips, things of that nature, uh, how to start a clothing brand, how to scale your business into at least six figures and above, things of that nature, around that niche. So my niche is about fashion and hustle. So you know what I'm saying, y'all know who to come to now, all right? So with that being said, let me get into this video. Today I got this shoe, just caught it in the mail. I said, you know what, let me be a little different. Mind you, I've been messing with this certain company and uh, when people didn't like this company, I used to style this company a lot. But I always had the respect of, I can still put on some Jordans or maybe a small designer shoe or something like that. Uh, I didn't have much designer shoes, but I did have lots of uh, the retros, I'm gonna be honest. So, with that being said, today, this particular shoe that I have in hand is the 9060s. Can we get a hand clap? Clap it up. Yeah, I know. I know. Different, elite. So, I don't really know too much about the details or the fabrics of the shoe. I'm just gonna show y'all what I like about the shoe. You know what I'm saying? What, I, what made me catch it, what made me cop and all the things of that nature. So, <clears throat> what made me cop this shoe was, it gave me an earth tone vibe. I love earthy colors. Uh, ever since I started my little spiritual journey, things of that nature, that's another tip about me, get a little bit personal, I guess. Ah, yeah, yeah, write that down. <laughs> but yeah, uh, got into my spiritual journey. I love anything earthy, the colors, the tones, uh, things of that nature. So, this, sort of brown i want to say brown gray it's like it's like a suede as you can see it, cha it changes colors as you rub it it's like a suede material um right here is like a almost a nylon or leather style material it has that i want to say that not the mint green it's giving off of an olive forest green color as you can see right here the new balance is uh decked out with like a I wanna say a charcoal black, charcoal gray, maybe. I don't know, but hey, I'm not a shoe guru. I just know what's in style, what's my style, you feel me? So, hey, we have uh, the rubber sole bottom, and I don't know what actually material this is, but it's nice. It adds a good good detail into the shoe, something different to the shoe, something unique that makes it kinda stand out, because all in all, this shoe kinda remind me of some Vapor Max. Let's be honest, take a good look at it. What shoe does it remind you of? Some Vapor Max, right? I agree. What stood out to me was these diamonds. They actually took the time to color in the diamonds, added like a, a two-tone effect. I actually had an earthy tone to it uh, to match, you know what I'm saying, the silhouette of the shoe, the colors of the silhouette of the shoe. Uh, it has a name right here in a little sole. It's like a cushiony type foam. It gives me Yeezy. Like right here, this part gives me kind of Yeezy-ish. It says New Balance right here. They also have the New Balance logo right here. If you can see that, let's let's get a little focus on that. They have a New Balance logo right here at the toe box. You know, this shoe, this shoe is actually fire, in my opinion. They have like some sort of uh patent leather type of thing going on right here with the New Balance and it says the 960, if you can see that. I don't know if you can see that or not. Hopefully you can. Uh, we can work on the light next video. 
uh, uh, one of the running, one of the logos, the New Balance logos in the insole. It's pretty simple, plain, you know, typical New Balance. Most of the time it's simple and plain. Uh, let's get that into focus. Yeah, once, once again, so yeah, it has a new New Balance, simple and plain logo into the ins inside the insole. You know, typical New Balance. Y'all, y'all can expect more from New Balance when it comes to stuff like that. It's plain. Uh, at the heel tab, it have the brown New Balance logo embroidered inside this. I want to say it's not leather. It's giving me like a 3M. It's giving me like a. If y'all can see these in person, it's like a 3M type material, but it looks fire. And on the inside of the shoe, we have embroidered logo lined across adjacent to the shape of an N. Um, we have this soft cushiony rubber sole, which it, I think it will feel comfortable if I was to use these at run, as running shoes. But we all know I'm not gonna use these as running shoes. I'm gonna style these out. And I'm gonna show y'all how, how I'm style them out. So, next clip is gonna be on feet. Let me know what y'all, how y'all feel about the on feet drip. You feel me? It's dripping it. Am I dripping it or am I tripping it? <laughs> Comment down below if I'm dripping it or I'm tripping it. Let me know. So, hey, once again, like I said, this is a nice shoe. I think they did well with this shoe, the 9060. So, a little info on this shoe right here. It features rich in earth outer space midnight green color reinterpreting familiar elements from classic 99x models and inspired by the y2k era so they're talking about the year 2000s the old baggy clothes and things of that nature is when new balances were at their peak which when i that's when i loved new balance i wasn't all the way rocking with new balance but i get some new balance and i i style them out for the most part so and it features a mesh upper, what they talking about right here, this part right here. It's kind of on a new navy blue side right here. So it, it kind of got hinted. It's all evenly spread it across where it's like nothing is overdoing it and nothing is overpowering this shoe. It's a simple shoe. Uh, it is kind of comfortable. It is comfortable. When, you come to, when it comes to New Balance, you can never forget about the comfortability. They're always reliable when it comes to comfort. But once again, this shoe is like simple. It's, it's a simple shoe. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's one of those classic designs. Uh, I believe this this new this new sole right here, I wanna say midsole is a little bit different, but hey, I don't know. I haven't bought New Balance in a while. It's been a while since I've been shopping for shoes for myself, but I wanna get back to it. for shaggy suede overlays, which is this right here. Tongue logo, logo inspired by the original 99. 991 Lace Jewel. Tongue logo inspired by the original 991 Lace Jewel. Lace closure, translucent heel guard, dual density SBS and absorb midsole. Diamond outsole pattern inspired by classic 8860 design. So, that's a good detail reference uh about the shoe uh let me know if y'all like this shoe review let me know if y'all like this shoe all in all what would y'all rate this shoe down below in the comments leave a comment for me what would y'all rate this shoe one out of ten and how would y'all style it would y'all add some streetwear to it would y'all make it casual what would you do with this shoe let me know i mean it is a running shoe but what would you do you know what i'm saying let me know if i'm dripping or i'm tripping if I'm tripping, that's you, man, because you tripping. But yeah, leave your reviews down in the comments below. Straight like that.
I'm gonna see y'all with the next in the next video. Peace.